Hello, in this lecture, we are going to be creating an application load balancer and we are going to be connecting it to our website. Before we create the application load balancer, we are going to launch two EC2 instance in the private subnet app tier in both availability zone. Then we will now create our application load balancer, then connect those two EC2 instance to the target group. So under services, click on EC2. We are going to launch an instance. Click launch instance. It's going to be Amazon Linux AMI, T2 Micro. We are going to select the right VPC. We are going to put this one in the private subnet one app tier. Then we are going to scroll down. Under user data, we are going to put a script in here. And the script will install our web server and also mount our EFS to our EC2 instance. This is the script. And before we copy this script in, make sure you update this information with the information of your EFS. So I'm going to minimize, right click to open a new tab. Going to select services and go to my EFS. Select my EFS name. I'll click attach. And I want to copy this information in the red. Right click to copy. Going to go back to my notepad and paste that information in there. Once I've pasted my EFS information in there, I'm going to copy this entire script. I'm going to come back to my EC2 instance, paste it in there. Then I'm going to click next to add storage. Click next to add tag. I'm going to name it server 1A. I'll click next to configure my security group. I'm going to select the existing security group. And for this EC2, we want to put it in the web server security group. We are going to click review and launch and launch our EC2 instance. Going to select my key pair, launch instance. View the instance. Going to launch another instance. It's going to be Amazon Linux AMI. T2 Micro, I'm going to select my VPC, and we want to put this in the private subnet 2, app tier, US East 1B. I'm going to scroll down, paste our script in there, click next, click next to add tag, I'm going to give it a name of server 1B. I'll click next to configure security group. Select the existing security group and it's going to be my web server security group. And you can see the ports that I have open for that security group. I'm going to click review and launch and launch my EC2 instance and select my key pair, acknowledge and launch instance. View instances. Once those two instances are running, we are going to create our application load balancer and connect those instances to the target groups. The EC2 instance are now running. On the left side, I'm going to scroll down, select load balancer. Going to click create load balancer. It's going to be an application load balancer and I'll click create. I'll give it a name. It is going to be internet facing and it's going to be IPv4. For my first listener, it is going to be port 80. When we register for a certificate from the AWS certificate manager, we will configure an HTTPS listener. But for now, let's leave it as HTTP. For the VPC, the right VPC, and I'll select both of my availability zone in that VPC. For my subnet in US is 1A, application load balancer has to go in a public subnet. So I'll select my public subnet. For US is 1B, I also select my public subnet too. Going to scroll down. Click next to configure security groups. Just click next, ignore this message because it is talking about our HTTPS listener. Click next to configure security group. Remove the default security group and add your application load balancer security group. Click next to configure routing. 
and in here we are going to create a target group it's going to be a new target group and we are going to give it a name it's going to be an instance on port 80 i'll leave this as default and click next to register targets on that register target, we want to select our server 1A and 1B and click Add to Register. We've registered those two instances. Click Next to Review and click Create. Then Close. Let's wait for the state of our application load balancer to be active. And we will see if we can use this DNS name for our application load balancer to access our site. The application load balancer is now active and I can click on my target group. Click on the target group name and make sure that the status of your target group is healthy. Now we can go back to the application load balancer and let's copy the DNS name and let's open a new tab. I can paste it in there, press enter. Now we are accessing our website through our application load balancer. And one thing we need to do next is, first we need to copy this, right click, copy it, then type in forward slash WP admin and press enter. And what that would do is it's going to bring you to the admin sign in. We are going to sign in and under settings, general, we want to update this information to the DNS of our application load balancer. I'm just going to paste that in there. Now also paste it in here. Paste and come down and click save changes. It is going to log you out and you can sign in again if you want to. And this is how you create an application load balancer for your website. In the next lecture, we are going to register for a domain name in Route 53. And instead of showing our application load balancer DNS name here, we are going to change that to our domain name. Now that we have set up our application load balancer for our EC2, we can terminate our setup instance. So let's go to the EC2 dashboard, click on running instance and select the setup server going to come to action, instance state, I'm going to terminate that instance, I'm going to terminate. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.